and and that leads right into the next portion where uh, the theory of uh, also leads to the uh, coercive suppression of diversity. Uh, but it seems odd because that that's 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 the call. So uh, you have terror and 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 war and all this stuff because there's only one truth. So we get rid of truth and all these uh, you know different things pop up and we should we should want we should want that diversity. We should we should want more of those things popping up because then everyone. Uh, uh, won't fight with each other because there's not just one way to do things. Uh, it may sound ironic first, but it was postmodernists that made diversity such a potent buzzword in the first place. Postmodernists decided that if totalitarianism results from totalizing meta narratives, again, like the truth, uh, that there's one truth, then the way to prevent uh, concentration of power is to maintain a variety of mini narratives. By celebrating the diversity of communities, their language games, and their language games, postmodernists hope to avoid coercion of the society organized by a single absolutized category. In practice, however, only select groups are singled out to represent diversity. Certified victim groups based on things like race, class, gender, ethnic group, and sexual identity. And we see that in the political structure today. Uh, you know, be diverse. Uh, don't don't exclude everybody. Oh, but if you're conservative, oh, if you're libertarian, oh, if you uh, are a a against abortion. You you don't have a place within our diversity. Or, or if you have ideas. theological views, right? Right. Those right. are out. Yeah. yeah. Theological views <laughs> that tell me that I'm doing things wrong. Oh yeah, I can't have that. <laughs> uh, rarely is there a push for intellectual or political or theological diversity when those views run counter to postmodernism or again uh, wh whatever the prevailing uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Ideas, narrative. And yeah, narrative, yeah, yeah whatever yeah. the political structure is, whatever the 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 race or category is, uh, and so analysis of problems in typical der is derived from Marx. Some groups are said to be victimized and oppressed, and the path to liberation is to revolt against the pressures, oppressors, often through political activism, um, and then <laughs> that just goes back to or or Orwell's um, uh, Animal Farm that uh, that there. Are, that, that uh, every, everyone is suppressed, but there are more. Uh, there are people that are more suppressed than others. So uh, the, 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 everyone's equal, but there are some pigs that are more equal than others. Yeah. Uh, and instead, we t uh, we tend to apply uh, Marxist criticism or feminist criticism or whatever the critics' preferred theory is. Uh, we, we we don't uh, uh, deal with issues of aesthetics such as style, structure, and composition. Um, uh, literary study helps to decide which side of the world historical class struggle they take, the side of the owners of the means of protection or the side of the workers. This and only this is uh, the real question in textual literacy. And, and you see that in a lot of the, the social sciences. Uh, politically correct university courses are not liberating students to think for themselves. They're turning students into uh, cadres of self-absorbed reactionaries ready to take orders from the, the fetish Fattest theorists of the moment. So, so uh, th those that are the most popular, uh, because that are th that's the speaking to the most amount of groups. But that in itself is uh, a collectivist mindset. It's it's uh, a saying, oh, this is really popular. Well, how is it popular? Oh, because a lot of people view it as such. Well, okay, I thought we were about the oppressors. So, shouldn't we always be on the side of the the oppressed? <laughs> the, those things that aren't popular. Well, then that becomes a popular statement. So, again, this the self-refutation. -refut you caught in a little circle. Yeah, now. right. No. I don't know how to get out of this. And I'm just talking about you know, what... what um, if you reject it and everybody else there. rejects it, now it becomes the popular thing. Yeah. Oh, so you got to, you know, what now what do you do, right. right? Wear my hat backwards. Now everyone's wearing their hat backwards. Now I wear it upside down. <laughs> Uh, the attraction of postmodern criticism, he writes, is that it allows you to pose as a superior thinker who humiliates naive believers by deconstructing their beliefs. You are always right. Uh, their behavior is entirely determined by the actions of powerful causalities coming from objective reality they don't see, but that you, yes, you alone can see. Oh, well. So this guy literally wrote this. Only he or the folks who agree with him can see this. Yeah. Bruno Latour. <laughs> Uh, Pope yeah. Spanish began with a noble goal of unmasking the implicit imperialism of, of modernist worldviews. Okay, good. But ironically, it has become imperialist, insisting that postmodernism and postmodernists alone have the ability to unmask everyone else's underlying interests and motives. Everything is the result of racism. Everything is racism. Uh, everything is, uh, is, is because you're rich. Everything is uh, because of this. 
Okay, but then is that also? Uh, is it because you have that social standing to say that? Well, yes. Okay, so no one should listen to you then, right? That, that's, that's what the, the call is for. An article in The Atlantic observes that political correctness morphed into a, a tyranny of speech code, sensitive training, and book banning. Sounds real diverse. That doesn't sound at all like what what uh, the 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 rally cries uh, against uh, uh, certain um, uh, political and and uh, uh, social movements of the 1940s were. The drive for diversity, w- which was uh, supposed to be the safeguard for uh, liberty, has itself become coercive and homogenizing. Diversity has become a code word for a new form of tyranny. <laughs> 